Hi everybody, it's me, Carrie, with MemoryInkers.com. Today I'm going to share a um, fun card that I made with the Petal Passion Suite from the 2018 catalog. Those of you that follow my blog will know that today is the last day of a theme, so if you want to see a lot more cards done with this um, wonderful stamp set and framelits, etc., um, go to my blog, memoryinkers.com or memoryinkers.blogspot.com, whichever way you prefer to get there. Um, either way works, and I hope that you'll follow me there. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you a fun technique. How to use the amazing framelits that come with this set. Um, we're going to be, um, I've used this, this particular one that does not have a matching stamp set, nor does this, which I also used. And this little one that's kind of cool because it gives you more options because see you have a branch here and even though it doesn't have a framelit this one's pretty cool too and so um, I'm using those but today um, on this video I'm going to talk about this bird which you can see when you stamp it will cut out so that it is facing to your right but I wanted two birds and so I needed one facing to the left so I could have fussy cut it which I, I know how to do that, but I decided I wanted to cut it out with the framelit. Now, how am I supposed to do that? Because that's not going to work. Let me show you my tip. Give me just one second. Okay, here we go. So to do this tip, you're going to need your um, paper piercing mat, your paper piercing tool, a relatively clean block. I didn't clean this one, but it'll work and then your regular um, stamp on, on a block. I am going to use Memento ink for this because um, as you saw with my sample, wherever I put it, um, I did color in my stamps with my blends, so um, I didn't want it to run. So I'm using Memento ink. So the first thing we're going to do is, I want to be sure this is inked up really good. So I'm going to kind of really squish the ink in there. Then I'm going to take it and on the relatively clean block, I'm going to stamp the bird and press very, very hard. Then you can see I have the image. Now I'm going to huff it, which is, you know, where we blow on it with our hot air. Don't tell any men I said that. Oh, I think I just smeared it. Oh, that's pretty good. Now, is it perfect? No. You can take a um, permanent marker or a Stampin' Write marker and you can color that in. But um, for this sample, I'm going to show you what I did. I took, this is how the framelit goes, okay? I took it and I set it upside down because then I could find the outlet of the little bird. And I took my paper piercing tool and every place that there was like a, a dent or a corner or around here by the tail, I placed a pierce. Now that you can use some washi tape if you want to make sure that this doesn't move out of place. But there you get the idea. And so now you can see I have little holes all the way around my bird so that when I flip it over I see those holes and when I take my framelit and set it on there and match up those little holes okay just take your time and then you're going to be able to cut it out because now it is exactly where it's supposed to be according to the way you traced it on the end and so you get um, wherever I, I'm going to have to go find that. Hold on a minute. Oh my gosh, don't you just love the way I, <laughs> I lose stuff all the time. So um, anyway, so here are the birds. And you can see there was, you know, some imperfections in my cutting. I probably should have been over a little bit just in this area. Every place else looks okay. This is a little... This is a little too wide and that's a little too thin, but it works. And um, I'm sure that um, had that not have been my first attempt, I might have been able to get a better job. So just remember, turn it upside down, find the points that you'll remember, pierce it. Then when you flip it over, you will be able to line it back up and get the cutout that you want. So 
that's my little tip for today. Now I'm going to go ahead and start making the card for you. I'm going to start with a um, piece of three and three quarters inch by five inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to take my Memento ink. Oh, by the way, you should wash this off fairly quickly. Um, I think it'll be fine till I finish this video, but um, it's a good idea to get the ink off your block. Okay, so now I'm going to ink up my memento and the word thank you. And I'm just going to stamp that, pardon my body parts if they're in the video. And then I've got that pretty thank you on there. Now I'm going to switch over to my silicone mat. I also want to show you that, remember I told you I did cut out a few things. I cut this out in, in the um, Wild Wasabi and also in Pink Pirouette. And let me show you how I put those together. So I, I cut them out in both colors. I'm hoping you guys can see that there. So I've got them cut out in both colors and then using my paper snips, I'm just going to very carefully and I'm not sure how perfect this will be since I can't stick my head in front of the camera. I'm just cutting away where the leaves are. Now I'm doing this smaller one on camera because it's a little bit easier to do um, than the big one. And I didn't, I, I know me, I don't know if you're like me, but you know what, I'm 60. I have to have things right in my face sometimes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them on top of each other. So that they will line up like that. Now there are a couple of ways I could have done that. I could have cut it out with the awesome uh, multi-purpose adhesive sheets, which I do love, but frankly, um, when they're these thin ones, depending on what they are, like words and stuff, you know, but these are small enough that um, I wasn't that worried about putting the adhesive on it. So I'm going to use the, sorry for it being so dirty, but it's well loved, the um, mono liquid multi-purpose glue that is also in the catalog. And then I'm going to just very carefully put some on here. And I'm spreading it around more than I'm actually squeezing the bottle until I really need to. Um, because I don't want it to ooze out if I can help it. The other way is, I don't know if you've seen it, but you can squirt like a pile here and then use a sponge and um, sponge it on. That works really well as, as well. So now I'm just going to take this, just make sure you have a silicone sheet when you're doing those things. And if you, if you look, you can see that one of the flowers has like a little, um, I don't know, squared cutoff. Well, actually two of them do. So then you can line those up and just get them into place while the glue is still moist. And voila, there you have it. The uh, pink flower on top of the green leaves with very little effort on your part, which is always, you know, that always makes me happy. So now I have all of my pieces cut and ready to go. I am going to start with, oh no, I got ink on my card, but you know what? It's okay. I can fix that, I think, because it's not, it's not too far over. So I'm going to take my bone folder. Have y'all ever had that happen? You're not thinking about what you're doing and you set something on something it's not supposed to go on? Um, this is the Thick Whisper White, so it is going to um, be a little harder to fold. This may not work because it's icky. Hold on, I'm going to get a new one. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> so, I'm going to fold it in half, and as I was saying on the other piece, it is Thick Whisper White, so... Um, Sometimes you're going to want to bone fold it from both sides, and you can still see it still lifts up, but once I'm done, it'll be good. So now, I am going to take my thank you, and I'm going to adhere it onto some pool party cardstock, which also got black on it. Wow, I am just, I am just batting a thousand. I'm getting it everywhere. Uh, so if you were lucky enough to get the fast fuse before it um, was discontinued, I know we're all really disappointed. But I'm really excited to see what they come out with in the new catalog because you know they're not going to get rid of completely something wonderful like a very strong adhesive. 
Um, but if you don't have this in your arsenal, of course you can use our amazing snail adhesive. So I'm just kind of mixing them here today. They both work fabulous. All right, now you're just going to line that up. So this pool party piece is cut four by five and a quarter. And then eventually this is going to go on top. But I want to wait because I'm going to be placing some things on here that I may decide I want to trim off a little bit. So I am going to start with these leaves. And I'm going to put them on there. And then I'm going to put them off to a corner. That's going to go in the corner. These will go on. And then the birds. So... I'm going to get these glued down just like I showed you, but I don't think you need to really watch me do that again because, you know, you can back it up. So I do turn them upside down, and you can tell right side up from upside down, even though they can go either way. But um, I'm not sure if you can see when it cuts, it sort of um, bends it down. So the opposite side has, you can feel it, there's like a, um, a lift in the cardstock. So that's the side I want to put the adhesive on. So... I'll be right back and I'll have all of the leaves and flowers on the card for you and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you how I did that other technique where I said you use a sponge and you just dab to get the adhesive from the, um, the multi mono liquid glue. And um, then it's all got adhesive on the back and you know it's completely covered. I'm hoping this is in camera range because I can't really see right now. And I'm just setting that right there. So I'm going to move this out of the way because I am done with that. So you see now I have the base. Um, the reason I didn't want to put it on the card front first is I, I was still thinking, did I want some of the branches to come off? And if I did, were they going to be, you know, I always think about will it fit in an envelope? I think it's really cool when things hang off, but I know I'm going to want this one to be mailable. So um, that's why I left it like that. So now again, with either your Fast Fuse or your Snail Adhesive, whichever you prefer, you can adhere this to your card front. Like so. Okay. Then for the birds, I had to think about where did I want the birds my best suggestion is always to um, lay them out yourself first and decide where you're going to want them on what branch. Um, do you want them in the flowers? I want mine on the branches. And because um, you can't really tell that a branch doesn't go out past here, I am going to um, put the pink one right there. And it'll look like it's on kind of a, another branch. You just won't know that it's not really. So to do that, I am using both my uh, mini Stampin' Dimensionals and my regular Stampin' Dimensionals to put on the back of the birds. And I'm going to start with the pink one because that is going to be the one that is the most um, unique. Now I have adhesive all over my fingers, so pardon me. I don't know about you guys, but I do use these ends. I'm assuming you guys do too. So um, this is a little bit thinner, which will be good for um, the tail here, if I can put it on properly. There we go. And then another little tiny one up by the face. Now sometimes um, I don't use this many dimensionals, and sometimes I do cut them in halves, but um, because I know I want to mail this card, I'm going to try to keep this little bird from getting too smushed in the mail by the... Um, postal machinery that it has to go through. So now I'm going to figure this one out. I'm going to set it there because to me it looks like if you're not looking too carefully like this leaf comes out of this branch and not off of this branch which it does. And then um, you can see how um, this bled through a little bit. That's okay. That is all a part of the um, awesomeness of blends. Just remember what side is really the correct side when you're um, when you're putting them on your card. 
and then a regular size. Okay. So there you have it, a fun card in pretty colors with um, a lot of dimension between the birds and the flowers. Really the birds could have been laid flat, but I, I wanted them to pop up a little bit. So the colors that I used are um, the ink. I only used the Memento um, Tuxedo Black. That's all I used because I knew that I was gonna be coloring the birds in with the blends. So, and they are done with Pink Pirouette, both light and dark, and Pool Party, both light and dark. Thick Whisper White cardstock, regular Whisper White cardstock, Pool Party cardstock, Wild Wasabi cardstock, and then the flowers are cut out with the Pink um, Pirouette cardstock. So, I hope you enjoyed this card. Um, remember to stamp the back of your card with your name because when you care enough, you make it yourself. So um, there you have it. It's an awesome one. Remember to go to my blog if you want to see more things done with this amazing Petal Passion Suite in the uh, 2018 catalog. It's very, very awesome. And it's one of my favorite new suites and I'm really, really hoping that it comes out in the regular catalog in June. So, um, hope you have a great day, and I hope you had a great Valentine's Day this year, too. Um, make sure that you go to my blog or follow me here on Pinterest. Just press that little button. Have a great day. Bye.